Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to look at testing the negative pressure switch in a furnace. This is a normally open set of contacts that is closed with a very small pressure uh, and it measured in inches of water column. And to measure it, we can put a digital manometer in series with the suction hose from the inducer motor and then energize the furnace and check to make sure the contacts are closing. We can check with our voltmeter and check for continuity. This switch should close at whatever pressure is listed on the side and not below that. If it closes under the pressure listed on the side, then it's a bad switch. If it doesn't close at the pressure listed on the side, then it's also a bad switch. So we're going to take a little field trip. We're going to head on over to a furnace and we're going to put our digital manometer in series and hook up our multimeter and test the pressure switch on the furnace. Let's take a quick field trip. Here we are at the furnace. Let's get things set up. All right, now that we've got everything set up, this switch is normally open, so I'm going to set the meter to continuity, and it's showing us open. As we can see from the little decal there, this switch needs negative 4.0 inches of water column to close. We've got the digital manometer hooked up. We're going to energize the inducer motor and see that that switch closes when appropriate. So I'm going to energize the furnace. We see the switch is closed. We're pulling negative 1.1, negative 1.12, 1, 3, and the switch is closed. So this switch is good. So again, we're using a T setup here. So that we can have the manometer in series with the pressure switch again don't forget to put it all back together the right way when you're done this has been the workbench series i'd like to thank you for tuning in and we will catch you on the next one